Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. So tonight's video presentation is going to be building on our last video presentation of installing LXD on a Raspberry Pi. So in that video presentation, we took you through the steps of creating a container. But to do a short recap, let's look at the commands we use to create our container that is displayed here called PyHole. Then we're going to move on to the main topic of this video, configuring a PyHole server inside of an LXC container. So the intent of this video is to get you working with containers. And what's the best way to do that? Well, setting up a server and beginning to use it for uses around your house. So by the end of this video series, this one Raspberry Pi with LXC installed on it or LXD installed on it will end up running a container with PyHole and maybe possibly even a few other containers on a single Raspberry Pi 3. So with that, let's start setting up our first container on this Raspberry Pi. So to do that, we're going to set up the container using the command sudo i lxc launch and this is a ubuntu container and then a colon for the version 2104 and the container name pihole then we're going to use the command sudo dash i lxc exec container name pihole and then bash and press enter so now we're logged into the container now this container is configured to our network but it's still got a dynamic IP address. What if we didn't want a dynamic IP address and we wanted a static IP address? Well, that's probably a good thing for most servers and it's really going to be necessary for a server that's distributing DNS for the rest of your network. So to do that, let's find out what our netplan file is on this system. To do that, we're going to use the command ls slash etc slash netplan and we find out it's called 50 cloud init yaml so we can now go ahead and edit this file with nano etc netplan and the file name press enter or it should and i forgot the slash all right that's what it looks like this is our standard configuration for a dynamic IP address. If you haven't worked with YAML files before, note indentation is extremely necessary, but this is gonna be a pretty easy configuration. Everything is going to end up lined up with the DHCP4 line that you see here. So I'm going to leave it for a few moments and then I'll show you what happens. So when we paste this in, it doesn't come in correctly. But we have our guide of DHCP4 here. Do not use your tab key. The YAML file will actually fail when we run the next command of netplan apply. Now we can comment out the original DHCP4 line or delete it if you'd like. So this stuff I'm entering is for my network and there's a good chance it won't be the same for your network. Set up yours according to your network. The slash at the end that you see of addresses here, most cases your network is going to be slash 24 as well. Slash 24 denotes a class C network. Going to leave the name servers alone? Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the name servers alone for this. We're actually going to configure where we're going to get our DNS requests from later once PyHole's set up. So we can press Control X and Y to save and enter. And then we can run netplan apply. And if everything runs right, we won't get an error message. And if we'd like to check that our IP address has changed, we can type exit and run the list command again and you can see 
that our IP address is changed to that that we configured in our file. So now we're ready to begin installing PyHole. Log back into the container by using the LXC exec container name bash command. And then we can use the default kill SSL HTTPS slash slash install pyhole.net pipe delimiter bash command that we use from the pyhole website to install most instances of pyhole. Okay, okay. Now it's asking that you need to configure a static IP address. We did that in the previous step, so yes. And I'm going to just go ahead and scroll through this list, and I'm going to use Cloudflare as I like that one. If you look at some of our older videos, you'll actually see a video where we set up a recursive DNS resolver. You could do that as well. There's nothing against that. So go ahead and set up PyHole as you want. We're using Cloudflare. We're going to use the default block list. This is just going to be a default install, so you can feel free to skip to the end of the video at this point if you'd like and you already know how to install PyHole to see the results of interacting with this container. Alright, so now PyHole's finished installing and we're presented with this screen. You could take note of this. I'm going to give you a command that will allow you to configure your own password before logging in or even after logging in on your PyHole server so you don't have to use their default password. I'm going to enter PyHole-A-P and we can enter our new password. So, there's our PyHole container configured. Now, we have a web browser. Let's go ahead and see if we can interact with it. There you go. There's PyHole up and running on a Raspberry Pi running LXD and with a container with PyHole installed on it. So, in future videos, we're going to install a few different other containers on this Raspberry Pi and show you really how useful a Raspberry Pi can be as a home lab server for educational or just general low power consumption server activities in a house. I hope you found tonight's video presentation informative and educational and it's inspired you to work more with LXD or given you the few tips to begin working with LXD because it is a great tool, probably as great as Proxmox, but Proxmox's containers are built on top of LXC. So with that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and maybe even check out our web store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. Have a good night.